plugins or testing new themes. Many tools you can use to run these load speed tests are free. One such tool is called YSlow. This video will give you a tour of YSlow and cover some of the major components that will help you get the most out of your site speed testing with this free tool. YSlow is from the development department of Yahoo. It's an add-on or plugin for many of the top browsers except Internet Explorer. Opera, Safari, Chrome, and Firefox. Initially, YSlow was developed for a Firefox developers plugin called Firebug. Now let's head on over to my Firefox and Chrome browsers and have a look. Now you can get the add on or plugin installed on your browser one of a couple of different ways. I'm going to show you what I consider to be the easiest way, and that is to head on over to yslow.org. Now, depending upon the browser you want to install it on, would depend on which one of these guys down here you want to pick. If you are a Firefox user, frankly, I would suggest getting Firefox, if nothing else, for this particular test. But if you're more of a Chrome or Opera or Safari person, then there you go. You just simply click on that particular link, and it will take you through the instructions on installing YSlow for that particular browser. Let's come on back here. Now, I've already got the YSlow plugin or extension added to my Chrome browser. That's the one we're looking at now. And over here on my Firefox browser, it's part of the Firebug plugin. So for here, you'd want to first install Firebug. It's installed pretty much the same way. You would go to Tools, go to Add-ons, do a search for Firebug, install it, and then come on over to yslow.org, click on Firefox, and then install or add the YSlow plugin. And at this point, I know it does say Add to Firefox, but in actuality, you're adding it to the Firebug plugin that has already been added to your Firefox browser. Let's come on back here. Let's go ahead and explain a little bit about the YSlow tool. See, YSlow has developed 23 different testable rules. Actually, there's like 34 that they found, but of those, only 23 are actually testable that are related to the optimum load time of a web page. And whenever you run the YSlow test on your particular web page, it compares what you have to the optimum way things should be, according to them anyway, and gives you a score based on the results of that test. For example, if we come on over to my site here, and again I'm on Firefox, and that is important too because the results that I found on Chrome differs from every other test run on the other browsers. So I prefer not to use Chrome for my YSlow operations. But if you're a diehard Chrome fan, you do have that option. But just be aware that the test results might be a little bit off. Okay, that said, I'm on Firefox and I'm on my site here. Come on up to the Firebug plugin up top here. Click on that and it opens up. Actually, by default, it's going to open up and look something like this. But the YSlow plugin or add on to the Firebug plugin is over here close to the far right end. So you just click on that one down here and you have the option to check that box to auto run YSlow each time this web page is loaded. That's going to be a little bit more of a load on my server than what I want. And frankly, it's not necessary. To run the test, you simply click on run test. Another thing I want to point out too is that you've got these four tabs here, home, grade, components, stats, and tools. You do not have the tools option in the Chrome browser. Another reason not to use Chrome for this test. Another thing is that by default, you're going to be starting off on the rule set for YSlow V2. Rule set are those 23 testable rules. If we come on back here just for a second, scroll on down this page here, this gives you a list of those 23 testable rules. And if you click on each one of these, it'll take you to that particular part of the YSlow page that explains in detail what they're talking about for that particular rule. Let's head on back to our test here. And unless your website is like Huffington Post or CBS or something like that on a large scale, then really all you need is the rule set for a small site or blog. Now you can come in here and edit that and even create your own because these are the default boxes that are checked are the rules that are checked for the small site or blog, for the V1 Classic, or the full-blown YSlow. This one here has 23 of the 23 rules checked, Classic 13 of the 23, and the small site 15 of the 23. And if you want a new set or a customized set, maybe you want to run a set for every site that you have because every site that you have is created differently, then you have that ability. Click on new set, it blanks them all out, check the ones that you want, and then come on down here a little bit more, save rule set as, give it a name, bada bing bada boom, there you go. You have a new rule set over here to the right that will also show up here on this drop down. So I just want to make sure that all those boxes are checked for our small site or blog rule set. And we will now come on back over to our home, click on run test. 
and here it gives me an overall performance score of 88 which isn't too bad but the more important part of this test is that it tells you here the areas that can use some improvement and you can click on the links here and it'll open up over here give you a bit more of an explanation of what part of that particular rule needs to be improved upon and down at the bottom gives you a little link to where you can read more about that particular rule set and what they suggest you can do to get it fixed and if this is not totally clear to you then let's get on out of here over here to the far right up top under help we can go to the why slow community it's basically a why slow forum and you can do a search here for that particular rule set and I think that was gzip or compression and chances are since this group this Yahoo group has been around since 2007 there's a pretty good chance that your question has already been answered if not just sign into your Yahoo account and if you don't have one it doesn't cost anything to get one just go ahead and log in ask your question and then just wait a little while until your answer is provided now let's go ahead and do the same thing on the Chrome browser come on over to the same site come on up here now whenever you install the why slow plugin on a Chrome browser you're gonna get this little icon up here in the top right area just click on that squeeze this down so it shows up in the video here as you can see here this checkbox is something totally different than it was on Firefox and again you don't have the tools option up here but everything else is pretty much the same. Let's go and run this test. I think this test on the Firefox ran up with a 88 score. This one's a little more lenient. It gives me a 92. It gives me an A, where I believe on Firefox it was a B, and it's still set for the same rule set as it was on Firefox. Now, through my test, the same site on Opera and Safari provided exactly the same results as it did with Firefox. So the only one out of those four browsers that were tested that were different was the Chrome browser. So again, my money would not be on using Chrome for using the YSlow speed testing tool. And that's going to bring us to the end of this video on the 